Hey guys, 65 Ford here. I watched something alarming the other day. I watched how easy it is to actually break into a garage. And I got a lot of tools, a lot of stuff I don't want stolen. Um, I hate thieves, so I do everything I can to protect against them. And one of it involved this, their garage door safety release. Okay? If you don't know what that does, that actually releases your garage. So it's free from the carriage. And so you pull that rope, now you can open the garage by hand and what, what not. Um, there, it's reconnected now. Now when you can push the garage door opener, it'll actually open up with the garage. The, tr the thing is, and I've known this before, and I actually put a seal here to try to keep some of the, you know, just to make it more airtight, but what they do is they stick a hanger. There's always a gap there. I can reach my whole hand in there if I pried. I could probably reach my arm through here. Um, they reach a hanger through here, up here, around here, and pull down. So they just plug a hanger through here, reach it up in here, grab on here, pull it down, the garage is released, ready to open. Um, they do sell little kits. I have seen people put blocks and stuff around this, but the thing I don't see people doing is they still leave this attached. And even if you put a block around that, you couldn't get that undone. Why can't you just grab this rope, fish this rope out, and pull it through? Mine's big enough where I can pull this whole rope through. But even if I shorten this rope substantially, where you couldn't get it out, you can still grab a hanger around it. And as long as you got that handle on it, um, you can still get that handle latched. You can still open it, no matter what you do. As long as you still have this handle on here, somebody can reach through there and do it. Um, I do have a good easy fix that anybody can do. First, I've never done this before, but I'm gonna go outside my garage door. I'm gonna just wedge this open, let you guys watch. I'm gonna reach a hanger up in there. They say it takes six seconds to do it. Um, I'm a first timer, so let's see how long it takes me. And then we'll go over how to fix it. seconds. Reach it up in there. I could see directly up here to be able to grab onto this. You saw me pull it right down. I could have easily grabbed the rope. I could easily fish the rope through if I couldn't get enough leverage with the hanger. I could have pulled that. Effortless. Absolutely effortless. Um, this is actually pretty disappointing that that's so easy that they haven't designed something else. Um, you could actually probably make it more difficult. I could take these screws out, move this assembly up, so this was actually moved probably back to about here. Adjust it so that's where it closed. Um, they would just have to use a longer hanger. They might not be able to see as well. But here we go. This is my idea. Um, what I've come up with is something that anybody can do. Um, and what it is, I have roughly a five foot one by two. It could be a two by four. What I'm going to do is screw it on there at an angle just like this, right in the top. That's it. That will, not that will not only will it seal this up good, um, but you can't get a hanger in there. And even if you were able to weasel a hanger up in there, you can't see, you can't get up around to do anything. Um, the longer, almost the better. Um, this is, you know, three quarters inch by three and a half inches. You can do whatever. But the idea is you want to screw it at an angle. I actually have um, kind of a ridge right here where I don't even have to bevel this or anything. And I can just screw it down in and I can just, I can just angle my screws and that'll hold it square in there at this angle. And then there's no longer a way to, you know, you can wedge a hanger up in here. There's no longer way to make it get that angle. And even when you do, now you're pulling such a force, just pulling down. There's so much friction, you're not going to be able to unlock it. So we'll just set that there. I'll drill a couple holes. We'll screw this down, and I'll try again.
just screw it along. Give you a good view of the angle. I've got one, two, three, four, five screws in it. Sits right there. Um, the nice thing about this is it doesn't actually rub up, but you can see it sits at that angle nice and tight, but when it's closed, it sits right against there. Even if you wedge it out. Now, you know, because my base of my garage door comes down there, the wood, so before you're only looking at this high up, being able to get it in at that angle. Now, you gotta come up, you can't get it in at that angle. Let me go try it. There you guys go. I showed you the, the six second video. I won't show you all of the ten, well, probably five, seven minutes that I played around with trying to get this. You, you just can't. I tried putting a pre bend in it, but the garage door is flat, so you try to get it up and then you're trying to wing it out and you don't know how far back in you need to go. You would need to know the exact depth and then you'd have to kind of wing it around. To get it is impossible. It's like being able to try to you know, unlock a car door without being able to see what you're doing. Um, before, even if I wasn't able to see what I was doing, the hanger wasn't bent. It was just at a straight angle. It would come up here, grab that thing. But now, right there, cost me nothing. You know, if you had to go to the Home Depot and buy a 2x4, um, I'd probably even do just a full 8-foot if you had it, or whatever, and just screw it on there. Um, your cost is 2 bucks plus some screws, so... That right there saves your garage from being broken into. I know garages are broken into all the time. Um, this is just a typical like Sears Craftsman um, garage door opener. I know that a lot of the other brands have this exact same setup um, as this. Some are a little bit different, but you can reach in, you can grab a hanger through there, go and look at yours, save your stuff. You know, Hey, leave me a thumbs up, thumbs down. Um, leave me a comment below. Tell me what you think, you know, tell me if it works for you. Tell me if you did it. Tell me if you have the same, same issue. Um, and subscribe. Thanks, guys. See you soon. 65 Ford. Bye.